So I, I've got this awful MX220V mill, and I, I made this, you know, this bulletproof, ridiculously overdone, giant hunk of steel here to mount my toll post to. And I tried to do some parting, and all the noise was coming from the, uh, the headstock here. So I decided I really don't have anything to lose at this point. I've tried everything I can think of to get this thing to not, you know, be floppy. And so I decided to take the spindle out, and I just popped the front bearing race off, and um, that's what I found in there. And there's, I don't know if you, you can see it, I mean, you can hear it, like, listen, there's grinding dust caked in there, and then this, there's a lip here on this bore, so... The bearing race has got a seat against something, but there's a giant burr in here. On this side, there's no voids in the casting, but on the back side, up in here, there's a huge void in the casting. And I had the same, um, I had the same burr uh, all the way around this bore. So uh, that's pretty bad. Anyway, I gotta clean that up and deburr this. This inside edge is like a it's like a <laughs> it's the roughest surface. I'm kinda even afraid to rub my finger along there because there's just metal splinters everywhere. So I gotta somehow uh smooth this out. And um then I haven't looked at the front race yet, but I cleaned the back race off. And look at this wear pattern. You see here on one side it's up high <laughs> and down here is down low. So that would lead me to believe that either that this was installed in there with a with a twist in it or the hole's not square. Um, so it's not a whole lot of wear. The the bearings they don't look like there's a you know there's there's not a bunch of black in the bearing grease but this is clearly not the way it should look and I haven't cleaned this front one yet let me just give it a quick rub here these are going in the um, ultrasonic cleaner let's just see what this one looks like so same thing. There's there's a rub on one side at the top, and then there's a rub on the bottom on the other side. So I believe the <laughs> they were installed wrong, and maybe it might even be both. The the bores are bad. So. I'm going to try to reinstall them because I don't really have anything to lose. And um, I just want to also maybe show you the, the actual spindle here. It's just, it's, you know, you can see it's, it's not clean. <laughs> and, um, I, I, you know, it, it, I mean, this surface here, there, there is something embedded in the threads. So I got to go through and try to clean all that out. I think it's grinding dust. There's just little bits of metal and stuff. So I got to clean all that off. And then this surface here does not look right. And then here's what the bearing on the front looks like. Now, there's a little bit of black stuff in there, but um, the grease doesn't look that bad. So I, I don't really know. You know, I, obviously installing it with uh, <laughs> with a twist in it is no good. I don't know if, if I should try to 
pull this bearing off and reseat it. I don't know. This, 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 I'll tell you what. Don't buy MX-220V. I mean, it looks like a good deal, but it is not. There's, there's almost nothing good about this lathe. Ugh. <sighs>